When I was 17 years old, I was uh, bagging feed and sweeping the floors in the uh, feed mill. I learned pretty much everything there is to do from the glamorous to the not so glamorous and uh, ended up as a commodity trader for quite a while and decided when I could afford it that I was going to kind of try to do my own deal. So found this uh, 90 year old facility in western Montana, a beautiful place to live and um, was the start of what is now uh, Lakeland Feed. I kind of really wanted to put my money where my mouth was and really try to implement what I believed would be the best way to grow a company. And I have very good employees and they, and they do work like it's their company, but I wanted to actually be able to reward them financially if we could be consistently profitable. I had never had, believe it or not, a profitable first quarter in 12 years, 11 years. I offered to share any profitability over zero. And it was not only profitable for the first time, it was very profitable. We bought a little feed store. I wanted to use it as a Petri dish for what an independent dealer could do. We had a bag made, a reusable shopping bag with our logo on it. And we literally filled little sample bags of our specific feeds, pet food samples, brochures, business cards, whatever. So if you drove up to a, a driveway and there's a pasture full of horses, we put horse samples. If three dogs ran out to greet you, you put dog food samples. So we covered the whole county, every physical dwelling in the county. So we would get the phone call that said, I don't want to buy this. Well, we had to explain they weren't buying it. This was our little deal. And sales have tripled in three years there because of that changing buying habits, getting them excited about what we were trying to do.